What's up, YouTube? We're back with week three of the Daily Put Challenge in Robinhood. Last week, week two, we saw that I was short nine put options. Now it's Friday again already, the day after uh, July 4th, our Independence Day. I hope that you all had a good holiday and we were back at it. I actually missed selling a put option on the short day on Wednesday. And so this morning I hopped on and I sold two put options. And so we're right back in there. I'm short 13 options. Now we'll take a look at those in just a second. So this is the daily put challenge in Robinhood. You know the drill. If you saw the last video or the first video, um, this is a disclaimer. This is for informational purposes only. Options trading is not for everyone. Um, past performance does not um, you know, indicate anything about the future. Okay, what is this? Just really quick, this is where I will or I try to sell one put option in Robinhood every single day according to my own wheel strategy rules. It's a lot harder than it seems. In three weeks, I've missed two, and then the following day, I've had to sell two put options. So it sounds easy, but selling a put a day it's actually not as easy as I thought. It's easy to overlook it or not do it and miss a day. So why Robinhood? Look, it has momentum. Say what you want about the brokerage. Last night I was reading all kinds of stuff on Reddit, more people um, leaving, getting ready for MOAS and GME again. Um, so the, the, the stuff is still out there, but regardless of what you say, Robinhood, they have momentum right now. Uh, so I'm just wanted to get on with the momentum that they currently have and we'll sell some puts in it. Now this is with the idea that I'm trading the wheel strategy. So if I sell the puts and then let's say earnings come next week or the week after and the stock plummets and falls through the strikes and then I'm assigned on like 18 put options then am I going to panic and close the positions and just lose a lot of money? No, that's not how the wheel strategy works. When I'm assigned on the put options, I will continue the wheel strategy by selling the call options. It's only in a case where the stock plummets dramatically. Now, if Robinhood falls like 30%, I'll be in a tough spot. And we'll talk about it then, about what I do, because it puts you in a situation in the wheel strategy where you end up having to sell call options below your cost basis, which if you do that, and then there's another spike up, causes you to lock in losses. And it makes it just makes it difficult to continue going forward. Your, your wheel strategy is kind of getting chopped up by too much volatility and you're not being paid for it, right? So we see in these options, we see them getting about 6% in about 35 days. And so that's really kind of the expected move. Uh, we don't, I don't expect Robinhood to move 30%. If it does, then we have a lot of work to do. We have to sell a lot of call options. We have to sell them really far out of the money in order to make that happen. Okay, let's get into it and just look at the position update. This is just for you guys so you know that I'm doing what I'm, I say I'm doing. This morning, I sold the, that first two puts, the Hood August 16, 24, 21 strike puts for $1.44. The days to expiration are a little bit longer, and I think that's just because of the days and the timing. I didn't really change anything with the selection of the put options. They just bumped out to August 16th, and we sold them for $1.44 each. So those are the most expensive options that I've sold so far. We see I had uh, some at $1.13, and I had some at $1.26 and $1.20 averaging in. So these are in at $1.44, which is great. Of course, I sold those this morning, and now uh, we're getting into the afternoon hours as I'm recording this, and Robin has, has moved back up with the market, um, the crazy bull market that we're in, setting new all-time highs again. And so we see I'm already at 13% profit on those put options. Okay, that's going to do it for this week's update. This is week three. We have one more week. I expect to be short by next Friday. I expect to be short 18 put options in Robinhood. 
I'll do another check-in. We'll see how we're doing and we'll check in to see how is the scaling going. At that point, am I able to close some of those initial put options that I sold, some of the July 26th put? So are those going to be getting close there at 60% profit now? Are those going to be getting closer to that 80, 85% um, goal that we're looking for? Or is it looking so so good that we just let them expire worthless? I don't know. We'll see next week how it's going. Until then, I hope that you had a wonderful July 4th and that you continue to have a wonderful July 4th weekend. 